This month of County Deer Stalking, we're coming to you from the glorious River Namsen in the heart of central Norway, where with a few members of the Capriolis Club, we've come to hunt European elk. Flight over has been hellish, the hospitality abysmal, the weather dreary, and the scenery bland. Nonetheless, members of the Capriolas Club are made of sterling stuff, and so we've persevered despite adversity during our trip to central Norway. The North Americans call them moose, and we call them elk. However you prefer to refer to them, you're likely to be pretty awed by your first sighting of this huge animal. We pick up on day two of the trip during which rifles are positioned around the mountainside whilst beaters and dogs attempt to move these huge animals to our position. I'm with Mike and with the sound of baying dogs in the distance we settle in for a wait. An hour or so passes and all is quiet before hunger gets the better of me and I make the schoolboy error of asking Mike if he'd like a coffee. And wouldn't you know, a huge bull passes us at no more than 12 yards. However, frustratingly, it's rump on and heading back into the forest before Mike can draw a bead. And so there's no clear shot. Crack. Here comes the bull, just like, and, and right in, I mean, right in front of us. I heard a, I heard a, I heard a crack. I know that. Meat balls? Yeah. Members retire to the welcome fire and warmth of the hunting lodge. Elk hunting is about the opportunity to share in the hunt. Norwegians are understandably protective of these animals and proud of their hunting culture which, much in tune with the ideals of Norwegian society, share in success. On day two, I'm with regular CDS contributor James Schneider, positioned on a stunning spot overlooking the valley. And it's a short time later that we hear two shots from our club member, Timor. We make our way down the mountainside to help with the extraction of his shot cow, which unbelievably like has crashed off into the undergrowth and then taken a fall off the cliff edge into a deep gully. Did you hit it? No, he, he, he broke his neck. <laughs> <laughs> how far had the deer, how far had the, the uh, deer. elk, how far uh, the, the elk the traveled? Moose. Now, from the first shot, uh, 200, from the second shot, 100. I think the, she know that it's, this was, the Not game her is day, up. so she kill herself. Committed suicide. Well, there. It was a paramus. Like a paramus. Paramus. Let's have a little bit more chainsaw. Extraction of elk from these remote spots can take some doing. These huge animals are often shot in dense forestry. Nonetheless, where there is a will, there is a way, and our hosts have both the equipment and the experience. It's fabulous to see these true woodsmen at work. The hunting in Norway is far from being about the kill. It's about enjoying the camaraderie and the outdoors. In this case, it's also about sharing the heart of the shot elk cooked up over the open fire pit. Nothing goes to waste. Hunting in Norway is an opportunity to immerse oneself in the great outdoors and spectacular Scandinavian scenery. It is the type of hunting that makes the heart soar. 
During our trip, there are other successes, and thankfully Mike makes up for the previous disappointment by bagging himself a fabulous ball. So, Michael, last time I saw you was Africa. That's right. This, uh, this time we were in Norway. That's right. And you shot yourself a cracking moose, didn't yeah, you, yesterday? Had a great day yesterday. Took a very beautiful young bull, a nice six pointer, uh, 215 kilograms. Heavy great beasts, day. aren't they? Yeah, they're enormous. Once you, you say... get up close, it's really something. How's it compare with Africa? Well, it's a bit different. Landscape is a bit different, isn't it? Scenery's, uh, scenery stands up. I have to say that. Well done, Mike. Good shooting, mate. Very good. Congratulations. Thanks. Not just for the elk that people travel to Norway, the River Namsen is also one of the finest fishing rivers in the world. The Caprios Club is very proud to also be able to offer its members the opportunity to hunt the most aspirational king of game birds, Capricale. Our concession covers a vast 250 thousand acres of breathtaking Norwegian countryside in a region which since the late 1800s has welcomed a host of various royals, nobles and dignitaries. Why not try and achieve the Viking challenge, land a fish, stalk an elk and shoot a capercaillie? For more information contact the Capriolas Club for details by emailing secretary at capriolasclub.co.uk.